This is day two of our J-term on our bird expedition for uh, the month of January. So we are learning about bird characteristics and features and we'll move on to talk about different habitats and the bird um, food web and life cycle. So we're going to be making a circle. Okay, this is an owl pellet, but what is it called when you can't, when something can't go through? It can't digest. It can't digest. It's indigestible. An owl eats eats like rats and stuff, and it and and the throat it has a bag with rocks in it, and when it, it, the the rocks take off the hard stuff that it can't digest, and then it comes out with a pellet with with um, feathers and with the bones inside of it. I learned that birds ha have um that um owls have pellets and they um spit out. They um they have they spit out the bones, and then they they put it in um a kind of feather bag. And then it wraps the food, and then when the owl eats rocks, it it mushes the it mushes the food so it can get soft. You are interested in touching it. Okay, we'll have to wash our hands, of course, after because when you are touching fur and bones and things in nature, even if it's been cleaned, we want to just double check, make sure, and we will be washing our hands after. So I'm gonna open it up. And let's see what we have. Let's see our, if our predictions were correct. So what do we see so far that you, it might be familiar to you? What did we say the owl pellet would be covered in? Um, kinds of different um, birds, um, feathers, I think. Bird feathers. Why do you think it would be covered in bird feathers as it comes up and out of the owl? Probably because the owl eat a bird or something that had fur. Okay, so you think the feathers are coming up around the bones because an owl eat a bird? If an owl doesn't eat a bird, it will also come up in feathers. Why? Why doesn't it? Why isn't it covered in bones? Because it's inside the bird, and the bird is covered in feathers, and it has feathers inside of it. Because bird is covered in feathers, so it, it when it coughs it up, it leaves a little trail of feathers on it. Okay. What I think? What I think? I think you have it. Probably because yes. he can't he can't digest feathers because it won't come out. So he has to redigest it. He has to spit it out. Oh, I agree. I th birds can. I do not think an owl can digest feathers, so that's making good use of the feather. And I also think it makes the bone. It covers the bones, so the bones don't hurt the owl's throat when it comes up. It makes it nice and soft, and it doesn't hurt the owl. Start. Let's see. We can have a few friends. Corn, you can come, and we can start to pull it apart. But we need to be gentle because you're going to find some special things in there. So why don't you bring that um, back to your seat and back to your spot here. And when you find something important, we can put it right in this piece of aluminum foil. And we can use our bone sorting guide. Are we all going to be able to get a turn to do this? We only have one owl pellet. So I'm looking for leaders who are saying, this is going to be your turn this time. Maybe next time it will be my turn. Maybe just more. Very interesting. So you're sorting the feathers and the dirt from the bones. Wow, look at this interesting one. It's a group. It's okay to put a little dirt on on the ground for this one. What do you think that is? When we're looking at our bone sorting guide, what does that look like? Hmm. It's sharp. What on my bone sorting guide could that be? What do you think, Sakaya? I think like it's a bird claw. That you think you see some bird claws? So we're looking at the bird. Oh, they're actually called uh, digits. Hmm. Look at that. So we're going to match it up here and leave it where we think it belongs. Hmm. 
Nevea, you can come up. Oh, wow. Hurry, see if you can place it because I have something very important to show you. I think, I think, I think the bird, the owl ate a, a bird. Okay, we do have some bird bones. I think it ate the shrew. We have a shrew. And what else? We said bird, shrew, mole. What other animal do we have bones for? Another, maybe another skull. So I'm gonna walk it around and you're gonna tell me what kind of skull top you think we have. And the more dirt that we can clear out, the more we can see exactly the size of the holes and the shape of the teeth. Hmm. Wow. I'll walk it around this one. What do we think? What kind of um, skull top is this? Our mole, shrew, rodent, or maybe our bird? What do we think? Delvon? I think it's on me. You think it's the mole? Birds have different kind of kinds of beaks. I learned that birds have different beaks because they have they eat different kinds of food. I learned that owls eat all kinds of things and sometimes when they eat birds, birds already eat some stuff so they eat in two things at once. They don't just eat what they want, they eat what they see and they like and they hunt for their food so they can eat. I learned about birds that Birds have um, bags in the throat, so so the so the food like gets soft in that bag, and that's when when they eat rocks, it mushes it. Different kind of birds mean that they have different kind of beaks because they can't eat the, all the same things at once. Because if they do, they won't be healthy. So they um so they have um some um some birds have to um digest their food beak. Because the birds eat different kinds of food. Well, the beetle, the shrew eats the beetle. The beetle is eating vegetation, so grass, etc. And that's it.